Monday, Sajid Javid, the UK Health Secretary, said that there were now an estimated 200,000 Omicron cases every day. He also said there were only 4,713 confirmed cases. So why is there such a discrepancy? It's to do with the pace of spread of Omicron, the number of people getting tested, and the delay between getting infected and testing positive. The UK Health Security Agency, that's the body which does a lot of the COVID-19 modelling in this part of the world, estimates that the number of Omicron cases is doubling every two days. That means you can rapidly get to an eye-wateringly high number of infections. At the same time, not everybody who gets infected actually gets tested, perhaps only 50%. There's also a delay between an infection and getting a test result. I might be exposed to the virus on a Monday, show symptoms on a Wednesday, get tested on a Thursday, and not get my results until a Saturday. That means that the number of confirmed cases tells you where the virus was a few days ago, rather than where it is right now. The government is, of course, bracing for the worst. That's one reason why vaccine passports have been introduced for some public venues just this week. And even though some people suspect that the Omicron strain may not be quite as virulent as Delta, the Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, is warning against complacency. Other lawmakers outside of the UK clearly need to be paying attention to what's happening here with some urgency and be willing to react particularly quickly.